Hey everyone, it's Rohana, and we're going to continue our Let's Play of Gakko in Heaven 2. I'm going to do the beginning of this a little bit differently. I'm going to load one scene, play through just a couple of lines of dialogue, and then load a different scene. And the reason I'm doing that is to cut out the response that someone makes to the person who is speaking in the first scene, because it's a spoiler. It's I'm pretty sure it's not there originally when you first play through the game. I think it only shows up after you complete a particular character's route. And it would be a gigantic spoiler for basically everything that's going to happen from now on. So I can't let you see who responds to this person. Um, because it would just, it would ruin a lot of things for you. It would just not be fun. So I'm going to continue from here. Just play a couple of lines and then skip ahead. Alright, so this is the end of that kind of throwaway day where you can talk to Yagami or not. And then Yuki goes to buy a drink. We go to the next day. Alright, so it's Monday, school day. We're in the classroom. And it's a dark classroom. It's early morning. It's a dark classroom. It's early morning. Um, Professor Sakaki is here. He is talking to someone. Um, for some reason, his character portrait doesn't come up here, but it's, it's definitely him. I mean, there's his, his name there, and that's obviously his voice. And what he is saying is, it's time for us to make our move. I'll leave the matter we discussed the other day to you. I promise to compensate you for your work. So this seems like kind of a suspicious, shady thing that's going on here. What's what's happening? You know, who is he talking to? What what move are they making? What's what's the plot? There's there's definitely something at work here. And um very interesting, but I can't let you see who he's talking to, so I'm going to have to load. And one day I'll remember to use the actual load screen instead of the option screen. Yes, Alright, so we skip ahead to after school that day, and I promise you I did not do anything except remove the two lines of response from the character that Sakaki was talking to. Is that all our student council work for today? I wish there was more. Seems like we have a lot of free time lately. Is it my imagination? Here's Dr. Matsuoka. Nice weather today. Are you doing student council work again? And Yuki was cleaning up the biology reference room. You're always so busy. Not really. I wish they'd give us more work. Are we not reliable? That's not well, it. Well, it's just they've just been doing chores from now on. Or up until now. But the ball tournament was a, you know, big, great effort by the student council. They kind of showed their strength there. So don't you think it's just that people want to leave bigger jobs to you from now on? Well, that makes me happy, but... But me and, and Kuya and Takuto, we like doing chores. I don't know if that's that's true. I don't see Takuto as being the kind of person who enjoys doing chores. So I wish they'd rely on me more. Well, that's admirable. So if I have anything that needs to be done, I'll rely on you. Hi. Oh? What so he's noticed something about Yuki, and you may have also noticed something about Yuki as well if you take a look at his character sprite right now, but we'll find out right from Asahino Dr. Matsuoka. Where's your armband? His armband's missing. Wansho? Interesting. What what does that have to do with anything? Huh? No! It's missing. I was sure I'd put it on. Did I drop it somewhere? I need to hurry and find it then. So this ne Sagashi Mima say. I'm going to go look. So ja Buka Korede. Alright, well I'll be going. And uh Toshko ni tsuketa hasanani. Darika shiranaikana. Maybe somebody knows something. 
You get a choice here. You can choose any of the guys, but we are going to ask Tomo as usual. Yes, Tomo ni kiku ka. Okago made wa hotondo isho no jiyo datta mo na. Since they have most of their classes together, it's actually a good choice. You know, Tomo may have seen something or noticed something that Yuki didn't see. Tomo, me te. Oh, Yuki ka. I just love Tomo and his his little sleepy face, his teary eye, and his. Open mouth. Just to ask you something. Make it quick. Hi, hi. That. Say, I always wear the armband. Did you see it anywhere? Have you seen my armband anywhere? Armband. Student council president armband. I lost it. Lost it? And you lost it. Lost it? 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 Paying full attention and sounding a little agitated, which is out of character for him. What do you mean it's lost? When did you lose it? Where? Tomo, how did it go? Yuki is surprised by this. You know, it's a serious side of Tomo. That's what I want to hear. The ace lost it. What do you mean it's lost? That's what I'm asking you. What's what's with the ace armband going missing? How do you mean? I don't know. 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 When Dr. Matsuoka pointed out that I didn't have it earlier, that was when I first noticed. So who knows how long it's been missing? I didn't have to remove it. 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 And I haven't really taken it off, so I have no idea where it is now. What is this? 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 You don't seem like yourself. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. So, I'm not sure if you're not going to be able to do it. It's kind of. You don't have to be so serious about it. I'll find it. Yuki, if you're not going to be able to do it, you're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to do it. Yuki, what would you do if I told you that the person who picks up the armband becomes the ace? So that's how it works at the school. Remember, Hattori passed the armband to Yuki. He became the student council president just by virtue of owning or possessing that piece of cloth. That's all that there is at this school to mark someone as a student council president. Which is a little unusual. It's very strange. You know, it seems like... People could beat each other up and steal it if they really wanted to. But, you know, that's kind of the way it is at the school right now. And, you know, mostly for plot purposes. This entire plot that we're about to see unfold here would not be able to happen if this was not the system of selecting and, you know, marking the legitimacy of the student council president. That's right. If you do that, you'll think about it at that time. I was like, well, I'll think about it then, you know, if I find it and it belongs to somebody else, well... Oh my... And Tomo's not really pleased with that kind of response. Well, maybe it's someone who would be more qualified or more enthusiastic about the job. If a person like that wanted to do it, then wouldn't that be good? I mean, that's how I became the student council president. That's right. That's all it is to you. So for some reason, Tomo has strong feelings about this whole student council president business, which seems very strange, you know, a little out of character for him because he really has not been that interested in the the matters of the school and the things that are going on, all the politics and whatnot. But suddenly, he's he's very interested in what's going on here. He seems rather upset about Yuki's attitude toward this. Tomo, what? Sorry, just forget what I just said. What? Alright, it's fine. Bye. Hey, Tomo! Very weird. What is it? What is it? I don't know how to do it. Even though he always looks like he doesn't really care about anything. Why this? Alright, so Yuki's taken another look around, hasn't found it. He's checked everywhere, hasn't found any clues. Did I drop it somewhere, or maybe I took it off without realizing it? 
どこに行ったんだ生徒会長の腕章エースの証しか it's, it's the student council president armband it's the mark of the ace so he's gonna have some, some thoughts about this you know what does that really mean to him and、um, you know it's something that was entrusted to him by the previous ace and everyone you know recognized him they called me ace I won my match with the Joker. I was recognized by the entire student body. I got back you know, some of the privileges of the student council. I even got back the desk and the chairs, and we had the Gourmand Cup. I felt like I was really becoming someone who was worthy of being called the ace. If the other person was the ace, I would have to be the ace. And he's remembering what Tomo said. What if I told you that someone else would become the ace? That's what he said. So, you know, you can kind of see a bit of insecurity from Yuki here, and it's, it's a little bit similar to how Keita、um, reacted to things in the original Gakko in Heaven, got a little, little depressed. I mean, he, well, Keita got really depressed. He was kind of over the top depressed at times. So it's, it's interesting to see that, yes, even Yuki gets somewhat depressed about things, a little insecure,、um, not to an extreme extent, but you know, he's, he's an ordinary kid at a school full of extraordinary people. All he has going for him is his good luck. He was asked to come to the school by the director just because he happened to get through on the phone. He's just had lucky coincidences, and after a while, maybe you start to question yourself, especially when surrounded by people who have worked really hard, who have really amazing talents, and have Spent a lot of time honing those talents. Maybe maybe it's kind of harsh, you know, being recognized by these people and then all of a sudden it's it's just gone. Yes, I'm going to go around some more. He's going to look some more. He's going to go around some more and maybe he forgot it in his、uh, in his dorm room. Yuki. Tomo comes back. Tomo, you know, 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 Did you find the armband?、うん、I'm still looking. So, I see. So, Tomo's upset about something. You know, what did he excuse himself to go do? What's, what's he been doing this time? Well, it's, it's not in the school, so I thought maybe I could go back to my room at the dorm and find it. Ah, Ita! Asahina kun! And here comes Keita all of a sudden. Ito sensei! I've been looking for you. What is this? I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 Um, so, there's, if you're a fan of the series, you may have a little, little bit of tension when you hear board of directors. You're like, oh, those douchebags again. So, there's, there's, there's a little bit of history there. Let's, let's find out what's, what's going on a bit. So, it's an envelope that's marked top secret. If it's from the board of directors, it must be something important. Obviously, it's marked top secret, right? What could it be? So, I don't know what's inside either. Oh, your arm. So, Keita has also noticed. Armband, right? Oh. Yeah. Everyone's really noticing. But it's important. What happened? Actually, I lost it and I'm looking for it now. Have you seen it anywhere? 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 And about this envelope. I don't know what the envelope is, but if you have any questions, I'll tell you about it. I don't know what the board wants, but if it's something bad, you can talk to me anytime. So, if it's something bad, you can talk to me anytime. So, you know, remembering Keita's history with the board of directors, it's only natural that he would be on guard 
when they're starting to get involved in school matters. Oh, hi. もちろん、今回のこととは関係なく、困ったことがあれば何でも相談してくれて構わないから。And to kind of soften that a little bit, so、uh, make you feel a little bit better about what he just said there. He said, of course, you know, not just about this matter right now, but if there's anything that's bothering you, you can always come talk to me. それじゃ、俺は職員室に戻るな。Well, I'm going to go back to the staff room. Hi. Futo, arigato gozaimasta. All right, well, thanks. Thanks for the envelope. Ito sensei, meo ni shimpai s t e t a n And he seemed oddly worried. Futo no nakami ni wari koto demo kaite a t t a r i s t e Oto kasna yo. Well, maybe there's something bad in there. Sensei mo nakami wa shirana itte itte t a r o Anyway, he said he didn't know. Kito, orega o c h k o n d e r yo ni mieta kara da yo. Maybe he was just acting weird because I seem kind of depressed right now. So it's a little interesting. I mean, with, with Keita, his history is that you know, he was brought to school by Kazuki for various reasons. And Kazuki was the director at the time and just brought him in without getting permission or running him by anybody else on the board, just invited him to the school directly. And, you know, it's kind of a. Revenge strike, you know, power play against Kazuki, the board of directors voted to expel Keita from the school. So Keita does not have fond memories of dealing with the board of directors. I mean, in the end, everything worked out fine. They had that giant MVP battle, which you will see a very nice parallel of that in this game.、Um, and everything worked out. He was able to stay at the school and complete. You know, graduate normally and even come back as a teacher. But there's still, for fans of the original game, there's still that feeling that the board of directors is not to be trusted. They meddle with the students, they don't have the students' best interests at heart. And that seems to be the case here as well, at least judging from Keita's reaction to whatever's inside this envelope. So, t h a t でも、理事会からって何だろうまさかここで見るのかんダメかだって、極秘って書いてあるじゃないか。Says, こんな廊下じゃなくて、人がいないところで開けた方がいいんじゃないか hall, それもそうだな。Well, 急ぎかもしれないから、今から生徒会室に行って見てみるよ。Right, そうしろよ。じゃあな、トモ。See you later, Tomo. ああ、俺も腕章を見つけたらメールするよ。And send a mail if you find the arm man. Thank you. Or maybe he's saying I'll send you a mail if I find the arm man. ただいま。Yuki goes back into the student council room. He's going to check out the contents of this envelope, but I'm going to stop here because this will set off a long and very interesting scene. Uh, things are starting to heat up a little bit here. The next video will be kind of the, the real beginning of the plot. So, we've had a lot of exposition right now. We've had a lot of opportunities to get to know the character that we've chosen,、uh, which is Tomo for this route. And we'll get a chance to kind of dig into the real meat of the game next and see what the actual conflict is between the students, the board of directors. It's a little more interesting than the original game. It's,、uh, stakes are much higher this time, so I think it's a worthy, worthy sequel. Definitely worth playing, and we'll, we'll take a look inside this mysterious envelope next time. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for your patience so far with so many videos that have really been a lot of, a lot of exposition. Maybe not super exciting, but things are starting to get really exciting now, so I think you'll,、uh, you'll enjoy. Seeing how the story unfolds from here. Alright, l I'll see you next time with、uh, the results, the information that's hidden inside this top secret envelope, and thank you for watching as always.